So there's a story that's recently surfaced coming out of Texas involving two siblings, a brother and a sister. The investigation is currently ongoing with the incident itself only taking place some days ago on the 2nd of February 2022 and for that reason we don't have too many details surrounding the case. Believe it or not the victim in this case has only just been named over the past couple of days and her image has still not been in the media as of yet. Sometime prior to the 2nd of February 2022, Guatemala native Jose Manuel Guzman had discovered that he had a long lost sister. Carla Chavez de Ortiz. Now we don't know why these two didn't know of each other but it's thought that they shared the same mother and different fathers. The only thing that I can see personally being the case is that Jose had settled in the United States since the age of three and with Carla being born in Guatemala he probably didn't keep up with his mum's side of the family but when he decided to contact them he discovered that he had a sister. Again that is just speculation though. Either way when Carla and Jose decided to meet up with each other in Jose's own words they fell in love with each other. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this was a biological brother and sister who they say fell in love with each other. Anyway, the two moved in with each other and started a sexual relationship. Jose was said to have become very possessive of his sister, but that's all we know in regards to a backstory. And the only update that we have is the news that has recently emerged. On the 1st of February 2022, Jose got into an argument with Carla. Again, the details surrounding the argument are yet to be discovered. However, we do know that he punched her in the mouth and broke a tooth. The following day, Jose would go on to tell detectives he was sleeping when all of a sudden he had a feeling that someone was in the house. He quickly learned that his sister had sex with a male friend while he was asleep. He went on to say that she admitted this to him, which prompted him to hit her in the head with a quote, massage instrument on the forehead and multiple times with a baseball bat. Panicked, Jose decided to call his mother rather than the emergency services to which he told her people had been in the house and Carla was now unresponsive. It's then thought that Jose had attempted to clean up the crime scene after performing CPR on Carla but his mother had called emergency services and when they arrived at the scene he fled. When deputies entered the property they found the baseball bat, massage and clothing in the laundry basket as well as a backpack that had a Pringles can containing packs of cocaine and meth. So police were now on the hunt for Jose and initially he didn't answer calls from his mum as he knew she was in contact with police but eventually he picked up and said that he was going to hand himself in the following day. On the 3rd of February he did exactly that and in a three hour interview with police he admitted to killing his sister under the specific circumstances that I gave you today but said he didn't mean to kill her. He also admitted to smoking drugs and that's why they were discovered at the property. He was then charged with murder and at a recent court hearing his bond was set at 1 million. His defence argued that it was unreasonable, oppressive and unconstitutional for the bond to be set so high as he was a hard working man working in landscaping. However the prosecution argued that even though he had settled in the US since the age of three he was still a flight risk having links across the border. The prosecution also brought up the fact that he'd been caught up in several other cases that have yet been resolved. In 2017 he had a case where he allegedly broke a man's arm with a baseball bat and smashed his car windows. In that same year he also had other family violence cases and drug possession cases. In 2018 he was up for trial in one case, didn't appear in court, so later he was released on bond until a further hearing. So on those grounds the judge denied lowering the bond. Of course this case is still ongoing but I wanted to bring it to you guys because so far the story has had so many twists and turns. For one it's pretty rare that two siblings would end up in a sexual relationship and claim to love each other but for them one of the siblings to allegedly go on to murder the other for cheating on them I don't think I've ever heard that in my life but I guess there's a first for everything. For now though give the video a like for more crime related content like this and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me Ape Honcho and I'll see you in the next one.